today i will be making a lehenga and crop top using madurai sungudi cotton sari these sarees come in vibrant colors with beautiful zari border they are great for long gowns or lehengas and are very cost effective affordable for everyone with designer look i have already posted a video on long gown from this sari Please check my channel for the same. We can add pleats in two ways. One is standard way, where you adjust pleats approximately per your waist and stitch. For beginners, this will be a bit tough. So we will discuss second method today, where we calculate pleats per exact waist measurement. Here in this method, we get exact waist measurement. So it's easy even for beginners to get perfect pleats first time itself. In this method, we make two markings across the sari. One is pleat width and the other one is cloth to tuck under each pleat. Since we are using full sari, we get more ghera and it is more beautiful. Now spread the sari so we can make these two markings on the sari: pleat width and cloth to tuck under each pleat. Pleat width is your choice. You can choose to have a 2 inch pleat or 1 inch pleat or anything. Then next measurement which is cloth to tuck under each pleat can be calculated using formula I'll be showing here in a bit. So we know total cloth waist length pleat width. Number of pleats Number of pleats can be calculated by dividing waist by pleat width. cloth for pleats is total cloth minus waist cloth to tuck under pleats can be calculated by dividing cloth for pleats by number of pleats if this is your sari you will mark two markings pleat width then cloth to tuck under each pleat we calculated above then pleat width again next cloth to tuck under each pleat likewise we repeat all over the sari this marking cloth to tuck under each pleat will be pushed under each pleat now let's calculate our measurements for this lehenga i am going to make Total cloth would be one seventy inches, and two inch is margin. 
so 170 inch minus 2 inch would be 168 inch total cloth waist is in my case is 28 inches and number of pleats is waist divided by pleat width if I am taking 2 inch pleat then it will be 28 by 2 inch which is equal to 14 pleats so if I take 1 inch pleat then it will be 28 by 1 inch which equals to 28 pleats so now we know number of pleats let's calculate cloth for pleats total cloth we have is 168 inches and waist in my case is 28 inches so cloth remaining for pleats is total cloth minus waist if this is your total cloth 168 inches and we remove waist which is 28 inches then the remaining cloth would be 168 inches minus 28 inches waist equal to 140 inches that can be used to tuck under pleats So in total we have about 140 inch cloth to tuck under pleats. Cloth to tuck under each pleat can be calculated by total pleat cloth divided by number of pleats. So 140 inch would be the total pleat cloth. Fourteen pleats would be coming from if we take 2 inch pleat then 28 by 2 inch equals 14 pleats so 140 divided by 14 equals 10 inch 10 inch would be the cloth under each pleat so we will be pushing 10 inch cloth under each pleat now we have our two measurements pleat width which is 2 inches here and cloth to tuck under each pleat would be 10 inches so we mark 2 inch pleat width then 10 inch then 2 inch and then 10 inch again 2 inch and 10 inch so on and so forth. These are the measurements if you are using 1 inch pleat width. So 1 inch would be pleat width and 5 inches would be cloth to tuck under each pleat. So 1 inch pleat width, 5 inch cloth to tuck under each pleat and so on. So these are our pleats. This 10 inch cloth between pleats would be pushed under each pleat. Now let's make markings on the sari. Leave 1 to 2 inches for margin and then start your markings. Mark pleat width 2 inch. And then cloth to tuck under pleat 10 inches. This cloth will go under pleat. Again pleat with 2 inches. And then mark 10 inches cloth to tuck under pleat. Again mark 2 inches pleat width and then 10 inches likewise mark all over the sari. All 2 inch pleats will show outwards and 10 inch cloth will go under each pleat. Grab first pleat and push till 10 inch cloth mark inside. Then grab second pleat then push 10 inch cloth inside and so on.
pin up each pleat as you go.